At the moment, you can't edit the new Blackmagic RAW codec inside of Premiere Pro natively. Premiere just doesn't support it. So I'm going to show you a kind of workaround so you can get all the benefits of the Blackmagic RAW codec while still editing inside of Premiere Pro. And this is free. You don't need to download any third-party plugins or anything like that. So open up Resolve. You'll need Resolve 15.3 or later to uh, read Blackmagic RAW files. Navigate to your clips bring them all in, drag them all onto the timeline, no edits, no nothing, uh, go straight over to the delivery tab. So here we just want to render them all out as individual clips. This, instead of taking the whole sequence uh, as one, it will split them out just as if they were regular files straight off the camera, but now they're ProRes. So it's essentially just a conversion at this stage, but I'm going to show you how to get the uh, full benefit of the RAW just in a moment. Uh, jump over to the file section, change the files to have a custom name, or you can just use the source names. The source names will mean that they have the exact same name as the uh, original files. And put them in a folder, probably call it ProRes or whatever you want. And we're going to render these out in ProRes uh, so that uh, Premiere can work with them. Tick this render at source resolution box or set the project settings to match the clips. And render it out. Cool. Jumping over to Premiere, we can import our clips, and now we can do our edit. So I'm just gonna do a real quick, meaningless something here. Now, where's the raw stuff? So I'm gonna show you. So let's say I decide I don't like the white balance on this clip or it's underexposed or whatever I wanna do. Um, so we're gonna jump into Resolve, we're gonna find that clip and we're gonna do our raw correction. So change the white balance, maybe do a bit of exposure change, whatever we wanna do. Uh, go to the delivery tab and Stick an in and out point around this clip. Add that to the render queue, render that one out. And so this is going to write over the top of that original ProRes file. So we don't even have to do anything. They just will show up in our edit. I recommend doing this with Premiere Pro closed, or you might get an error like this. Uh, but all you have to do is just unlink and relink the media, and it will show up just fine. And there we are, the raw graded file inside of Premiere. Yeah, so I hope that was helpful. Cheers.